Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My voice is coming back. Well, I don't think I mentioned that I was losing my voice because I guess that kind of started two days ago, but I did mention I was sick in my last video. I'm getting better. I feel like we're at the end of things. I just had breakfast. Um, I just did an exit interview for my last job, but today I'm gonna do a little motivational day in my life. It's Monday, fresh start. I love Mondays, I really do. I get so tired of just sitting around on the weekends or like even when I go out and have a crazy busy weekend, I still just love a reset. First thing, I of course made my bed when I woke up. This is something I will always recommend everybody do. A lot of people will say and that they don't see the point, but I am a firm believer that this opening your blinds, little things like that create healthy, happy habits. I am in process of getting dressed because I put this shirt on for my exit interview, but I need to change, put some normal pants on so I can go to the grocery store. I did buy so much last week. So what I always do on Monday mornings is like look through my kitchen, see what things I'm gonna throw out, what food is like no longer good, cleanse the fridge, and then really look and see what do I need. I always end up getting new produce every week. I think I'm gonna go to Publix, but I'm afraid I'm gonna regret it just because of how expensive Publix is. But for produce, I just don't like going to Target or Walmart. I don't know if that's a mental thing. I'm debating just going to Target, but I want mostly fruit. And fruit just never looks good there. So I think I'm just gonna go to Publix. I have gift cards for Publix. Oh my gosh. Okay, this just made my day. Oh, this is so good. So good. All right, my camera's flashing. I'm gonna change the battery and get dressed. This is my outfit today, even though it is hot as heck in Florida right now. I already put this shirt on. So now we just went and put some jeans on. But this shirt I actually just got when I was in Nashville at this little boutique. Not something I typically wear, but I definitely like it. The lighting is not great. It's not giving what it needs to be giving, but whatever. I was totally covering the microphone in this part, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a voiceover. Hello, basically I just went through my fridge and kind of looked at what I had, what I didn't have. I knew I was gonna make that soup for lunch today, so I didn't have to worry about meal prepping. Had a little bit of leftover sweet potato and meatloaf for some kind of snack with some grape leaves. Um, I know that I have tofu back there, so I'm thinking of making like some kind of tofu bowl this week which I do have zucchini and some other veggies like tomatoes and mushrooms. So I figured I would make a tofu bowl with that at some point. Then I took a look at my fruits because I'm always, always having fruit for my oatmeal and stuff. I know that my blueberries are going bad, but they're not molding, so I'm still gonna use them. Strawberries are iffy, so definitely needed more of those. Then I go over here, look at my fruit bowl. We definitely need some more bananas. This is a plantain that I don't think I'll end up using because it just stayed green the whole time and then it got bad. I definitely need an avocado for avocado toast. And then I look in here and I see like, do I have enough meals? I am very low on cereal, but I haven't been eating it as much. So I think I'm just gonna hold off. I definitely have oats and granola, so I'm good there. Then I come down here. This is where I keep like my nuts and my pasta. I have two unopened bags of pasta, I'm good there. I have pasta sauce, so I'm good there. This is pretty much empty. It's like the hard parts at the bottom, so I'm gonna get a new almond butter. I'm out of tuna. I like to have tuna as a quick lunch with veganese, but I have beans, I have rice down here. So, yeah. So with everything I just said, I'm gonna go and buy my fruit, my avocado, my cashew butter. I might buy bread. I wanna start taking B12 again because I just think it's really important for me. And then I'm gonna get some coffee and some creamer because Starbucks has just been way too expensive. Like yesterday was 7.26. I was just complaining about 7.15. So I got something different thinking it would be cheaper and it was more. So I'm done with that. I don't even think I need coffee because I have ground coffee. I don't need cold brew. I think I just need creamer. Yeah. So, let's go to the store. Sometimes when I plan content like this, I think it's kind of dumb because it's such like a normal thing to do, but really not everybody buys groceries consistently and cooks consistently and goes through their stuff and a lot of people just let things sit and I can't like I really can't do that so I'm here to be the motivation to clean things out to be on top of your health goals be on top of your fitness goals
goals. I'm going back to the gym today. I haven't weight trained in six days because of being sick. Like I said, I think I'm at the end of it now, so I'm ready to get back in the gym. Alrighty, I still don't have a tripod for my car, so I'm gonna end the clip and see you in a little bit. Well, this is a classic example of me doing things too quickly. So when I was going through all my kitchen stuff, I left my gift cards on my dresser. So I ended up spending my cash, but it's okay. Cause I will be going back to Publix, it's fine. But I was just so excited about those gift cards. So how embarrassing of me. I spent $68, let's head back home and I'll show you what I got. As much as it pains me to start making coffee from home, I know it is the most economical thing to do. And I do like my at-home coffees. I just like Starbucks so much more. That ship is sailing for the time being. Um, I got my favorite creamer is actually on sale for $4. I think they're originally like $5.50 or something. This is so many servings. It says 63, but it's definitely not 63 servings for me. It's probably about 15 still cheaper than getting one coffee. So I have my coffee ground didn't need to buy any and then I got some fruit I got some tangerines I want to start eating these vitamin C especially for when you're feeling a little sick What other fruits did I get? I got bananas I got smaller bananas because I'm all about getting like the big bananas, but then I never eat the whole thing I always cut them in half and use half so I just got smaller ones Strawberries were buy one get one free. Publix was having all sorts of good deals this week for like the things that I actually buy. So I got one for me, one for my roommate. And I got an avocado, Dave's thin sliced bread with my salmon. On the topic of seafood, I got more tuna. And then I decided to get one canned salmon because I haven't had this in a long time and I used to really enjoy that. What I do now is get two albacore tunas and two yellowfin. So we got for and this just lasts me a while i got my almond butter some sponges we've been using the regular scrub mommy with like the face but her face keeps breaking after a couple weeks i don't know why because we used to use them and it never gave me that issue but now it's an issue so i got these this three pack last but not least i got some vitamins my b12 and some iron pills i do like my b12 in liquid form i was told <clears throat> by someone that it absorbs better than taking a pill Ever since then, I started doing that. Every time I go grocery shopping, I get reminded that I want to buy a reusable grocery bag. So that's another thing I'd like to look into today so that I don't get these plastic bags every time because I really do feel guilty every time I go to the store. So now I'm going to take my supplements. These are one of my probiotics. I like to film this in the hopes that I will get better at being more consistent because I do forget to take my supplements a lot of the time. I'm going to take my iron one, which I know they say to take with food. Cool. So there's actually B12 in my iron supplement, which I didn't know. So I definitely don't want to overdo it with B12, but I do want to try this. Do like five milliliters. I just want to try it. All right. It definitely smells like something I've had before. Okay, not too bad. So those are my three daily supplements. I will take my digestive enzymes before lunch. So next on my to-do list is laundry. I don't have a ton. I usually like the basket to fill up a little bit more, but I just love a Monday fresh start. And if it's more than half full on a Monday, I'll just go ahead and do it. <laughs> I am going to change out of this shirt though because it is so hot in here and I don't think I can wear long sleeves anymore so I may be wearing something different in the next clip. I'll probably wear what I'm going to wear to the gym tonight. I always like doing that that way I'm just like ready to go to the gym when I'm done working. I have this gray lululemon top that I got for golfing. I have only played golf once in my life but I insisted on having like a cute outfit but it really um sucks you in in all the right places. The same way their leggings do and their tank tops do. So this is a pretty big go-to. So maybe I'll wear this with my Alpha Leaf shorts. I love these shorts. Yeah. I made myself a little bowl of soup. Let me give you a better view because if I lean, if I tilt it, it's probably gonna fall. Um, there's my soup. I got the recipe from my Plant You book. It's the chickpea noodle soup. I ended up using lentil noodles instead of just like wheat noodles because I thought it would provide some extra nutrition. And it's really good. It's really hot, but 
I had this last night and I'm gonna have it again tomorrow and it just feels so comforting it really gives like the chicken noodle soup vibe and that's exactly what I needed and it's funny because I don't like carrots or celery but in soup they're both so good so I'm gonna eat this up and um, start editing the video that you're watching finished my soup and it's been about an hour so I'm gonna fold my laundry because it is out of the dryer work is busier than I expected I'm getting lots of calls in and I'm just like ugh, my voice hurts so it kind of sucks but whatever two days left and I will be gone Another thing I love to do on Mondays is plan out my schedule for the week, especially my gym schedule at the least. And since Wednesday is the first, I'm gonna be using a different page. I'm just gonna go ahead and rip this one off already and use these two as today and tomorrow. So yeah, let's plan. my gym routine for the week um, planning on going five days this week especially since I am done with my job as of Thursday or as of Wednesday actually and then I do like school stuff in blue errands miscellaneous in orange I like to color code it just makes things a lot easier hello guys I am sitting on my balcony it is my work break but I thought I would end the video here because I'm pretty much done running all of my Monday errands the only other thing I'm gonna do that's pretty productive is go to the gym tonight I'm gonna hit, what are we doing today? I'm gonna do cardio and we're gonna do legs. This is how my Mondays go. I really feel encouraged just like doing this. I'm not always super productive, super motivated. But what I do love is a Monday reset. Even if I decline a little bit throughout the week, it's that feeling of getting back on track on a Monday that I just crave and love. I hope that this was inspiring to somebody and hope you enjoyed. So don't forget to subscribe down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.